Hello guys, welcome to our virtual instruction series. So I am Teacher William, and on this video, we are going to study the topic Stocks and Bonds. Learning Objective So at the end of the lesson, or at the end of this video, you as a learner will be able to distinguish between Stocks and Bonds. Let's have the first topic, stocks. A stock is an official evidence of part ownership of a stock company which may be used in claiming the company's assets and earnings. It is usually in the form of certificates are issued by the company to the buyer of stocks. Stocks are shares of ownership in a corporation. That means to say, you will become a part ownership of the corporation if you buy share. Now, the subdivisions of stocks are called shares. The investor who buys a share is called shareholder or stockholder. The share of profit in which a shareholder is entitled to is called dividend. Okay, let's have an example. Suppose a certain company opens 100 shares and siyempre, you buy one share. Halimbawa, eto, kinuha mo yung isang share na to. So that would be 1 over 100. That 1 is your share and that 100 are the total shares. Okay? So since nakabili ka na ng isang share dyan sa company, then pwede ka nang tawagin na shareholder or stockholder. Now, suppose that the total dividend of the company is 100,000 pesos. Now, that 100,000 pesos will be equally divided per share. So, the dividend per share is 100,000, which is the total dividend, divided by the number or the total number of share which is 100 shares so each share will receive 1000 pesos so if you bought 10 shares in the company then you will receive 10 times 1000 that will be 10,000 okay so mas mataas yung nabili mong share mas mataas yung kita mo Okay. There are two types of stocks. We have the common stock and preferred stock. So, we are going to compare the two types of stocks. So, let's have first the common stock. Most issues in the PSE or the Philippine Stock Exchange are common stocks. Or in, in this common stock, those who buy a share or both a share, they can vote. They can participate in profits and has control in the ownership and management of the company. They are also entitled to equal distribution of profits and have last claim in case of company liquidation or bankruptcy. So common stock may pay dividends depending on how profitable the company is. So kung mas mataas ang profit ng uh, market or company, then the tendency is mas mataas yung value ng share mo din. Okay? So, nakadepende po yan sa profit ng company. Okay. Let's have the preferred stock. So, in this stock, owners are guaranteed a fixed dividend for as long as they own the stock. So, compared to the common stock, a common stock depends on the profit of the company. While here, you are guaranteed because you have this what we call fixed dividend. Okay? Preferred stockholders are given some extent of ownership of the company but usually do not enjoy the same voting right as the common stockholders. Now, preferred stocks pay an agreed upon dividend at regular interval. So, I hope so that you already know the difference between the two. Okay, the preferred stock and the common stock. Take note of this guys, that whether common stock or preferred stock, 
both will receive dividends or share of earnings of the company. Okay, so let's have the comparison between the stocks and bonds. Okay, stocks is actually a form of equity financing or raising money by allowing investors to be a part owners of the company, while bonds are a form of debt financing or raising money by borrowing from investors. Okay, so stock prices vary every day and these prices are reported in various media such as newspaper, TV, internet, etc. So it varies every day. So medyo risky kasi nga po every day nagbabago yung prices po ng stock. Pwedeng tumaas, pwede siyang bumaba. While in bonds, investors are guaranteed interest payments and a return of their money at the maturity date. Okay. Investors can earn if the stock price increase in stocks, but they can lose money if the stock prices decrease or worse, if the company goes bankrupt. So, in trading stocks, I do suggest to put this what we call cut loss or stop loss, I mean to say, in the bonds. So, investors still need to consider the borrower's credit rating. So, bonds issued by the government pose less risk than those by the companies because the government has guaranteed funding taxes from which it can pay its loans. Okay. So, stocks, higher risk but possibility of higher returns. While in bonds, Lower risk but lower yield. In stocks can be appropriate if investment if the investment is for long term, such as ten such as ten years or more. So this allow investors to wait for the stock prices to increase if they go low. While in bonds, it can be appropriate for retirees because of the guaranteed fixed income or for those who need the money soon because they cannot afford to take a chance at the stock market. So guys, this is the question. If you have money, which one do you prefer to invest? In stocks or in bonds and that concludes our lesson for today thank you for watching and see you again on the next video good day